the Sophisticated Chopper and I'm back with yet another video. Um, this one is actually going to be a um, Birchbox unboxing for the month of August um, of 2015 and I'm surprised this box showed up fairly quickly. It came in about a week ago. About a week ago. Ooh, sorry, that was like my white person weirdo-ness. Sorry. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really cute box, and I can't wait to get into it to show you guys what awesome things I got. So it's cute. It looks like a little pool. It looks almost 3D, almost like you're looking at a pool, like down at a pool. It's really cool. And the eye just rhymed. That was great. Um, but yeah, I actually use these boxes to keep my jewelry in, um, just to kind of separate them while they're in my armoire so they don't get all tangled. Um, so I, I'm going to reuse this box for sure, but this one I actually may have out on display for this month, um, kind of where my little perfume bottles and such are. So super cute, love the box. Um, and let's get into this. Let's see. So this month's theme is Soak It Up. As summer peaks temperatures wise and watermelon consumption wise, uh, we're taking advantage of every last minute. That means embracing air dried hair, ensuring our skincare is SPF. Oh, SFP. Okay. Heavy and keeping our makeup minimal. I think they messed that up. That's okay. We hope you love this month's samples and can't wait to see how you use them. Here's to making the most of summer's last gasp. Team Birchbox. Didn't think summer could gasp, but that's okay. Um, and they do show all the things on the back and how much they are worth. So I'll keep that right next to me. They also gave me this full-size bottle of Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover with any Marcel purchase. Um, yeah, so that's this little thingy. All right, so the tissue paper this month is like a teal color, and I like it. And I'm very happy with this month's box. Even though most of it is hair products, I'm super happy. So the first thing I got is this, let's see, I don't know how you pronounce this one. RCO, I think, R N Co. R Co, something like that. Um, Death Valley Dry Shampoo. And that is this guy right here. This is the sample I got to choose for this month. And I really, really, really love it. Um, it's a really cool bottle. And it's a pretty good size, too. I believe it's how many ounces? It does not say. Oh no, it does. Okay, it says it is 1.6 ounces, so it's a pretty good size. And the, the packaging, like I said, is super cute. Um, the full size is, ranges from $17 to $29, so I take it they have different sizes. Um, and it says, style refreshing spray that saps excess oil, gives hair volume and body, and adds tussled texture. Cool. Um, and it's really good smelling. I actually am on day three hair right now, so I could use some of that. And it smells so good. It's a different smell than the, um, now I can't think of it. It's different than what I usually use, the Batiste. Um, but it still smells pretty good. It smells like a salon product. And it does really get rid of the grease um, without leaving a white film. So very happy with this. The next thing that I got is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner um, and let's see the full size for this is $21.95 and this is obviously a travel size um, and it says it's the best selling leave-in that locks in color, protects strands from heat damage and adds silkiness which I always am up for um, and I hear such great things about this brand. Um, so I'm super excited to try this out. I'm going to go take a shower in a little bit. So I'll probably spray a little bit just to see how it does. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. Yeah, that smells good. I like that. I like that. Yeah, 
very very good so I can't wait to use this once I get out of the shower and see how it how it does or whatever it does after I get out of the shower so the next thing I got is actually a fairly decent sized sample this is actually the oh it's another leave-in conditioner curl keeper um, that softens rough dry hair it's a leave-in conditioner and let's see this detangling treatment smooths strands to leave curls soft and frizz-free even in humidity, which is perfect because I want my hair to look more curly and less wavy, and it's possible for my hair to do that. It just has to have the right product, so hopefully this will be the right product. It's a very nice size. Um, it's one fluid ounce, so there's some product in there. Um, let me see how you smell. Um, of course, there's a protective seal. Oh my gosh. Is that colored? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Oh, that's... That's weird. It smells so good, but then it smells like, like Play-Doh. I don't know, but it smells really good, and I can't wait to use it. Um, this says it's cruelty-free, which is always great. Um, and I'm always happy to support uh, companies that are cruelty free, so super excited to use this. Smells fantastic, great size, very happy. And I'm not usually happy about hair products, so they hit the nail right on the head. Perfect for them. Um, and then here's the cute little, I don't know what you call this, like a little pill box thing, um, with my smaller samples inside. Um, I'll save my one that I'm super excited about for last. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Cleanser, and I hate this. I'm sorry, I'm already going to say it. Everything that he makes, or this brand makes, smells like chemicals, and I'm not down for that. Um, ooh, and it's already open. Yeah, that's just like too chemically smelling, and I won't ever use it. I have the Pores No More, um, what is it? I gotta look. I'm sorry. I've, I've already lost my mind. I think it's the found, not foundation primer. I have the Pores No More Poreless Primer, and I don't use that because it smells like chemicals. And this is a cleanser, so it's a face wash. Face wash. Can't say anything today. Um, and it smells like chemicals, so I won't be using it. And it's gonna go in my trash pile or. I can try to pass it on to somebody else that doesn't mind. My last thing is something I'm super excited about and super happy about and I don't care if it's tiny, it's adorable and I love it. It is the, oh sorry I meant to say this is, um, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Cleanser is full sized, not this one, full size one is 35 bucks which wouldn't even think about purchasing. Um, so yeah. This thing is the Balm Cosmetics, which I love that brand. I don't own much, but I love it. Um, and it's the Balm Desert Bronzer Blush. And it is so cute. Look at how tiny and cute that is. It looks like a little book. And I love it. I don't care if it's tiny. It's so cute. Um, and it says it's long wearing for an endless summer. What is the color? I guess that is the color is the Balm Cosmetics. Okay. So, Balm Desert. Take a dip. That's the color. Take a dip. And this is it. It's tiny, so I don't even know how I'm going to put my brush in it. Actually, let's see. This is usually what I use to contour, and it is my, well, it is my contour brush from Real Techniques. And this is generally how puffy and how it looks on a daily basis. I don't think it changes. Um, but I think I'd be able to fit it in there. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to do a little swatchy swatch. Oh, perfect. Okay, that is like the perfect color for how pale I am. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's like a taupey color. I'll put it on with my finger now so you can see it better. Oh my gosh. I think 
birch box. This is probably the best box you've given me ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ever. So I'm super, super, super happy with this box. Everything I will use for the exception of the Dr. Brandt Pours No More, um, but I will pass it on to make sure somebody uses it or somebody else tosses it because I don't have the heart to do that. Um, and I don't know. I think everything's fantastic, even though it, um, not everything is full size. Obviously, nothing is full size. And um, nothing is... I don't... I don't even know where I'm going with this. Yeah. So, I'm happy with everything. Travel size or not. Um, everything smells generally pretty good, for the exception of the Dr. Brandt, again. Um, and everything is reasonably priced, so if I did want to repurchase these items, I could, without breaking the bank. So, thumbs up, Birch Box. Thank you for finally a good box. Um, you guys... You guys are just on the ball right now. You guys are fantastic. Um, and I actually was thinking about canceling my birch box after this month, but you guys just, you not just you guys, but birch box, they changed my mind and for a good reason. So I will be doing this again for September and this August box was the best so far. So if you guys got the August box, let me know what you got in yours down below or post a video link to your unboxing video. Um, also let me know what you like most out of the box that I received. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My battle of the boxes will be coming up soon between this guy right here and my August 2015 Ipsy, which I don't know how bad of a battle this will be because I'm already leaning towards a certain subscription service. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.